Hey everyone, it's Flacky8. Welcome back to Operation Fold a Gap. This is 8.1 Warsaw Pact. That's right. We have had a lot of fun in this game so far. Let's get right into this turn. We've got quite a few red arrows on the map. And uh, let's get right into some technology. Which we've done really poorly in the last, I don't know, six turns. <laughs> um, we're going to go again for AMD, anti-missile defense, computers, and long-range missiles. And my chief scientist has assured me, has assured me that captured NATO SAM units have unlocked the keys for our, our success. Uh, we're going to pick green uh, for our AMD. We'll pick dark green for computers. And lastly, we'll pick this hot pink. I think uh, Captain G calls this his Ronald Reagan dice, his, his Pico communist dice. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> feel, feel free to comment, Captain G. Uh, but long range missiles, that's a six. That is tech number six. Uh, we're looking for eight or higher, except for the pink. We're looking for a seven or higher. So here we go. Here we go. Okay, so it looks like we got some some luck. Some luck. Uh, so we got a six on our AMD, which is a miss. But we got computers and long-range missiles. Hard to complain with that. I won't. I won't grip at all. Long range missiles. We'll go to stage two for long range missiles. So we finish computers. That just means uh, we get a little more cash at the end of this turn. Okay. That's not bad. Outstanding. Got this handy dandy captured NATO handbook from 1985. That's actually real. Um, no joke. No joke with that. That's uh, that's the real deal, my friends. The internet has everything. All right, let's go to our buy. Uh, we're not doing any sort of repair of damage, so uh, I didn't get that out of order. Uh, that would have been before tech. But let's go into our da our technology we just did and our purchases. All right, so we have 48 to spend this turn. That's pretty sweet. Uh, we're going to send military aid for the first time to our partners... Uh, the Soviet Global, we're going to send them an, an amphibious assault ship for six. And likewise, since we're building one, we might as well build two. We're going to build ourselves an amphibious assault ship as well for six. An air security fighter for eight. Two attack helicopters and an MBT for, uh, I think that's 16. A uh, single mech for four. And lastly, a fighter for eight. Uh, we're purchasing a few air units here, and that might make sense, considering my attacks, which are coming up next. That's right. Um, we'll start with the big one, because we'll probably do this one last. So we are making it a combat air assault against Lazio, and look at the look at that. There's so much stuff in Lazio. I can't even see the I can't even see the thing on the map. Uh, so I'm going to use, I'm going to pull this back a little bit. I'm going to use this book as a, as a task force card. Armor at the fold of gap. It's very, uh, it's very fitting. So I'm bringing stuff from all, all over the place. So I'm going to angle up here. So out of Romania, we're going to take two airborne via the major army base, airborne assault. Out of southern Yugoslavia, we're going to go one, two, with the air cav, the attack helo, and the airborne. I'll try to put like things by their like partners. From northern Yugo, we're going to take an attack helo and a fighter. From Austria, we're going to take three attack helos. This is a this is a grand coordinated attack by the Warsaw Pact and an airborne. 
And now, scoping up north from Western Czech, we've got two attack bombers coming down, and they're going to run battlefield nukes for the first time. We are sick of taking nuclear fallout from the forces of the West, and we are here to rain fire down upon them. Also joining us in two medium bombers from West Czech. The East German air superiority fighter and the Bavarian air superiority fighter. Oh, you can't see that. And I've already counted this out. They can basically switch spots. It's uh, one East Czech, two Austria, three Veneto, four Lazio, five, six, seven to Bavaria from Eastern Germany. And then likewise from Bavaria, it's seven up to Eastern Germany. So. I'm just calling that out there, if they survive, we'll make it back to where they start. Excellent. And then, lastly, we're going to take a fighter from, and this is the Yugoslavian fighter, actually, the sculpt from Ro, uh, Rhineland. It's going to go one to Bavaria, two Austria, Veneto, three, four into uh, Lazio. And you might be saying, well, Flak 88, the U.S. player took Veneto last time. Where are you going to land that thing? Well, uh, well, let me just answer that question for you. Per the lovely rules, the 85 Bible. Let's see. Oh, I already moved it. Uh, let me get to No, I didn't move it. Yeah, I lost, I lost the paragraph number. But uh, placement of air units in non-combat can be placed on newly purchased um, carriers, or in this case, this will be an air security or an amphibious assault ship that will be here in M5. So this fifth movement, boop, M5. Most excellent. All right, so that is our large attack force. Just looking to make sure I didn't miss any arrows. Okay, we'll keep those up there for dramatic effect. Next. Next is a walk-in. We'll do that now. You may have already seen it coming. I don't know why this is here. I don't think that's that pulls true. The three MBTs from Austria are simply going to walk into Veneto. And uh, I didn't even bother pulling the roundel off because I knew I was going to walk in. So, But I will move myself back up to 32 so that I don't get my calculations wrong here at the end of the turn. All right, nextly, we've got a diesel electric that's been sitting here in A40, patiently awaiting orders. He's gonna come off, he's gonna sneak through A40 on silent running, come off silent running in A41, and kill that tanker. Most glorious. I believe that is two and two tankers destroyed for each for NATO and the U.S. So, glorious. We will destroy the lifeblood of our capitalist enemies one tanker at a time. And let's move up north without knocking every stuff, or everything over, all the stuff up here. From... A12, A11, and A10, since the Denmark Strait is now open and the ASW fighters are gone, we will safely traverse our diesel electric subs. And then A12 is using the minor shipyard bonus for all the way up here to A5, where we will make a assault against the USSSN. And I've got non-combat arrows up here. That's because those were there before I changed my attack. So disregard those, those arrows. Those are not true. We are making a combat attack on the US SSN that is raining fire on our communist allies. Glorious. I believe that is all. Nope, it's not. It is not all my attacks. Ho, ho, ho. I almost got ahead of myself. I typed my attacks out while I was at work today. Um, I've got three cruise missiles, which reminds me I'm building three, so I'm going to put that 
on my uh, on my uh, build plate here quick just off camera. I have three but I can only fire two. So a uh, pro tip for all you new 85 players uh, when you're playing in the Warsaw pack uh, sometimes you come to the situation where you don't have the means to fire all your cruise missiles um, and that happens to other people too. But uh, more so with the Warsaw Pack, we're only using our uh, ground launch cruise missile. So from East Germany, we're gonna go one, two into a facility strike against the minor army base in Benelux. And just because it's damaged, it doesn't mean it doesn't get defense. It still gets to roll AMD. And then lastly, down here from the ground launched uh, facility in the major air base in Romania. My goodness, this thing is so off balance. We're gonna go one, two, one, two, and try to snipe off one of these MBTs down here in Greece. All right, let's go back in reverse order. We'll start right here in Greece since it's fresh in our minds. We have no AMD, there's no SAMs here. We've got a free shot, a five or less. Let's mix it up, let's use our teal dice here. We're gonna, we're gonna change it up with colors. I should have threw that AMD chief scientist in the gulag. Where is he at? Oh, we're gonna hunt him down. He was light green. Oh, ho, 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 ho. done. It's like a scene from the dictator. <laughs> All right, cruise missile, grease, five or less is a hit. And that is a seven, that is a miss. So that is a disastrous failure. Okay, hopefully it's the only disastrous failure. Uh, up here to Benelux, let's do our facility strike. Starting off with AMD, four or less knocks it down. <laughs> and that's four. You can't see, I'm zooming. So that is also knocked down. Bye bye missile. Okay, let's do three SS. Excuse me, S. I think they're SKs. Let's find three of the same dice here. Let's do three red. We'll do blue for the U.S. since it's my only blue dice that I have here close. So, uh, reds are rolling three, and uh, I shouldn't. I won't roll that because uh, the U.S. sub will go silent running if I miss. So here we go. Looking for threes or less. 10, 11, nine. I'm keeping these for AMD, my goodness. We're gonna, we're gonna put those up there. We're gonna keep that for tech next time. <laughs> that was awful. All right. Sadly, the US sub will live to fight another day. Okay, hopefully we saved all our luck here for the last battle. And we're gonna set this up on the battle board so we don't mess this up. We got a couple things going on here. Sorry, I got, I'm using this paintbrush as a pointer. All right, so we'll see if we can see. There we go, we'll do it like this. Uh, defender on the bottom, attacker on the top. Let's bring over the defender. We already talked about the attacker. Defender's got an air security fighter. At seven, an advanced air security fighter. I'm using the F-22 sculpt since technically it was built in the 80s. And an eight, uh, we got four fighters. Going air security at a six. And I could use chips, but I just, I haven't. So that's where they will be. Uh, next up, we got the light infantry for the US defending at four. We got Sam, uh, first strike and air defense. Two Spags, first strike and air defense. These are all twos up here. Got a Mech at five. Oh, the next gen MBT, I forgot to take that off. That's, that's done. Two MBTs at four. And lastly, two paramilitary at two. Okay, so let's bring our card over. Oh yeah, hey, look at there. We didn't even dump anything off. All right, so we got attack 
Bombers at seven, rolling triple dice. Medium Bombers at five, rolling triple dice. An Air Cav, let's do our Attack Helos first. We got Attack Helos. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. And then we have one, two, three, four Air Cav. Excuse me, my goodness. We have four Airborne that are at three. And they compare two to one per attack helos. So they're all going to go up to four using two of my five attack helos. My Air Cav can also go up one with the close air support using the third attack helo up to a five. My fighter will be rolling air superiority at a six. And my two, well, excuse me, both of my fighters at a six. There's two of them. That one kind of blends in, that camo's a little different. And then my two air superiority fighters at fives. So we got a lot of air superiority going here. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna scoot this over. Get this a little closer to our board. All right, so first off, we've got a roll for the air defense. Look at there, I got three of these. So that'll be our Sam. It doesn't matter, these are, all the, these are all the Sam. So we have three for the Sam, two for each bag. These are twos uh, first strike. That means any of these hits and knock down my aircraft before they get to shoot. So we're looking for 12s, looking for big numbers. Okay. All right, I see six, three, nine, eight, six, ten, nine. Can we see that clearly? Okay. Taking a deep breath there. All right, so we will commence to regular combat. All right, so I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna go left to right. So I'm gonna start with air security. Um, I've got a bucket of dice behind me. I'm in no particular color. I'm just gonna pick dice out. I'm just gonna roll them each. I'm gonna call them out. Uh, so this is quick and isn't confusing, I'm trying to pick dice and roll them and yada yada. So uh, two air security fighters and fives. Oh my goodness. Do we see that? Three, four. Oh, I'm excited. All right, I'm gonna track this on my board. Uh, Chris actually mentioned that I do it differently than everyone else. So I'm gonna track my hits that I cause on my uh, battle attack boards here. So air superiority, I cause two. I might actually switch that to a D D12, but I don't have them in front of me. All right, different dice. We're not gonna, we're gonna spread the luck around. Two fighters, uh, six or less air superiority. Seven and 10, those two missed. Ooh, okay. One, two, three, four, airborne. We are looking for fours. One hit. The other ones were 11s and 12. So we have one general hit. Okay. Let's see. We have one air cav at five. That is a four, so we'll move general hits up to a two. Medium bombers, we've got two of them. They're rolling three dice each at fives. So here we go, we're looking for, we're looking for fives or less. Okay, I see three and a four and a five, three, four, five. So that's three hits. I'm gonna track these differently because battlefield nuke hits can only be taken against land units. So I've got a two for general, a three for battlefield, and a two for air superiority. We're not gonna goof up our accounting this time. All right, next up we got five attack helos. These are six, and these are target select one. So um, I'll probably target high, high defenders if I uh, land target select one. So. Looking for sixes. Okay, so 11, nine, five is a miss. We got a three, four, five. So we got three more general hits. 
So I'm going to move the black die for general hits up to a five. And that's up here. Okay. Chemical and nuclear. Oh, there's a little spot for chemical and nuclear. It's down here. Very nice design team. Very nice design team. It's kind of like patting, patting uh, yourself on the back. Um, I can't take all the credit here. Um, Chris designed these for the most part. Uh, Admiral Seabass. Um, getting off topic. Attack bombers. We have sevens. Uh, three each. Let me grab some guys. One, two, three. One, two, three. My goodness. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. These are sevens. Battlefield nukes. First round only. Okay. I see a six on the bottom, a seven, and a six. So we got three. We got three of the six. I'll take that. So our battlefield hits, battlefield nuke hits will go up to six. Okay. So we got six, seven, eight. Oh, math is hard. 11, 12, 13. We got 13 hits total. All right, let's go to our defenders. Let's go to our defenders. And before we do that, we're going to do an Admiral Seabass trick. We're going to pull our casualties before we get too crazy. Um, okay, so first of all, these are already fired. The two spags and the Sam, so we're going to pull them off. That's three. Okay, done. Next up, we got two paramilitaries. I'm just gonna pull them down. That's two, that's done. Two air superiority hits. First on the docket are fighters, so I'm just gonna take the fighters and pull them down. And then six battlefield nuke hits have to be taken on ground units, so we've got one, two, three, probably did this out of order. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll have to take down two more fighters. Make sure I did that correctly. Yeah, I believe that's correct because we got 13 hits total. Battlefield nukes uh, are only land. The air superiority hits were two of them, and then the other land in order of casualty order is the two fighters. So, all right, let's roll our defenders. Rolling our defenders. This is gonna be, this is gonna be hard to watch. <laughs> no particular dice. I literally have a pile in front of me. Now let's pick this one. Air superiority fighter. This is a seven or less. That's a five. So we have air superiority. Air superiority hits at a one. Mixing it up. Advanced air superiority at an eight. That's a two. So air superiority is up to a two or two for two. That's not what I want to see. Um, let's mix this up for some colors. Fighters, air superiority, six or less. Okay. Nine, 11, 10, nine. Just like my fighters, they all missed. So sorry, Ozark. Okay, paramilitary. We got two. I just knocked over ASWs in the Indian Ocean. Two paramilitary, two or less. <laughs> I can even see that too there. Sneaky little two. Uh, everyone loves to see paramilitary hit. General hit. One. Okay. All right, we got two MBTs. These are target select. Uh, one of them is a target select. Uh, so I will mark a general. Generals are up to two now. Target select is up to one. And then we've got the one light infantry. That is a one. If you can't see it, it's a one. So that is a hit. General hits up to three. Oh, and then lastly, one mech at a five. And that is an 11. Very good. All right, so let's zoom out here. Not too far. 
Air Superiority, I have to take two Air Superiority hits. I'm going to take the Air Cav 1 and an Attack Kilo 2nd. So Air Superiorities are taken care of. We have one land target, which is an Airborne. And then we have three general hits, which we are going to take against Airborne uh, because all the defenders have lost their target select. So I know I can take it if I take one, two Airborne and another attack helo. Okay. All right. That was one, two, three. Oof, it's getting to be costly. All right, so in defense, we've got the two air superiority fighters. All right, so these are no longer air superiority, but they can still cause hits against, and technically these were supposed to be over here, but I got the dice right. Um, Sorry, two cut, two talk at the same time. These are no longer air superiority, but they can still cause hits against the fighters. Still cause hits against the fighters. And these are no longer battlefield nukes, so they are just regular one die each. So let's roll our uh, two air superiority fighters at five. Okay, five and a four. Those things are on fire. They need the order of the red banner. I think that was a Warsaw Pact um, award. Um, let's let's roll uh, extra credit here. Two fighters at six. There's another hit. Um, three attack helos, just in case I mess something up. There's two more hits. Okay, so we got three extra hits. Um, in defense, no particular dice. I'm grabbing them on the fly. Air Security Fighter for 7 or less. That's a 10. That is a miss. And Advanced Air Security, 8 or less. That is a 4. So that Advanced Air Security hit twice. That is most... Most... Uh, disappointing. Uh, we're probably going to do... We'll probably take a fighter. We're going to take this guy. We're going to let the southern Yugoslavian live. Okay. All right, so we will take Lazio with the remaining three attack helos and one airborne. All of this cannot land, all these bombers and fighters. Okay. Oof, duh. I don't even want to know how much <laughs> IPP I just lost. But uh, we will take Lazio for the forces of the Warsaw Pact. <laughs> I almost said the free loving peoples, but I, I don't get to say that yet. I'm still playing Team Red. Okay, so that is in our possession. We don't get any bonuses or anything from it. But we do get four, which brings us up to 36. And it brings NATO down four. Um, and I won't call it out just in case I have my tracker off. I don't want to cause confusion. Yeah. So uh, NATO is down for one, two. We'll take all these arrows off. Didn't even have to build that amphibious assault ship for that extra fighter because, well, I guess he hit it once, an extra credit, but never hit on the first round. What do you do? You plan for the worst. Okay. Let's bring, see if I can find a card. Bring my airplanes back. Apologies for the delay. I don't wanna make any mistakes here. All right, so we are wrapped up with our combat phase. So we'll start putting our stuff back. 
So the medium and attack bombers flew down one, two, three, four, five, six. They're all going back to Western Czech. Attack bombers. And if you see this goofy white and red, that was actually a paint scheme that the Soviets used back in uh, back in the day. Um, and I'm using it for my Warsaw Pact um, just to keep them separate. Uh, and like uh, specified before, air security fighters, they're flip-flopping. One's going to Bavaria, one's going up to East Germany. And then, let's see. So we killed our... Let's see. Make sure I don't make a goof here. We're going to kill our fighter that came from Rhineland. So this fighter from... Northern Yugo. Technically, I should uh, keep the sculpts the same so there isn't any argument here. So that one is going to go back to Northern Yugo. One, two, three, four. And that is it. That's all that survived. That's all that survived. This is old. Excuse me for that. Okay, so let's get into our non combat. Um, for ground units here. Do we have any non-combat for ground? I don't think so. I think we're going to keep it simple and leave everything is everything as is. Okay, so let's go in place. Go ahead and place units. Um, let's not get this out of order. Do, 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 do. Place units. Military aid is, actually, is after you place your units, so we'll place that one last. We're going to put our, air, our amphibious assault ship here. I lost my frigate last turn, so I'm going to stick this marker I used for that under him. Just because he's a plain Jane Grey. Don't make fun of me, guys. I, I, I love to paint, but I, it takes a long time to do this kind of painting. Uh, <laughs> All right, uh, in two, two is down here. We're gonna place one mech at that minor army base. Uh, that leaves me three mechs there. Okay, five has already been done. And the rest are up here. Swing up. All right, so in four, it's Eastern Germany we're building and in Another ASF, so we'll have two ASFs up in Eastern Germany. In one, which is Bavaria, we're placing a fighter. And lastly, in Rhineland, we're gonna place one MBT. And I've got a card that's to my left, but if I place it here, you guys can see it, and my players can, or my uh, partners can uh, can kind of see also where it's going. And then the two attack helos at the minor air base because it's downgraded after it's captured. Okay, all right. We didn't move any other fighters or, air, or e e EGFs or anything up here. Very good, okay. Next, let's deliver our military aid. I'm excited about this. Really excited about this. I actually get to help my uh, Big brother, you could say. So from the minor shipyard, low battery, please don't die on me. We're gonna go all the way up to the port up here off Akershus in A7. So they will now have three amphibious assault ships up here. Most glorious, a shadow of its former self, but still strong, still strong. Okay, let's go down here. I've got a terrible mess I don't want to show anybody. Sometimes when you're filming, you just start to discard off, off camera and hopefully you don't mess up, mess up the active parts of the board. Okay, all right, so let's collect our income. We don't have any recruitments or anything like that. Uh, income, we're showing 36. Uh, for quick and ease of counting, I'm gonna break into my tenors which my tenor is actually this Tom Clancy 
Red October chip. So we're going to get three of those for 30. Oh my goodness. That would have been disastrous. 30. Six for base income. We have both Yugoslavia, so we get an extra two each for four. So that is 40. We're just going to account this as I go so I don't have to do math on camera, which is potentially embarrassing. Okay. We've got five for German unification, so that's 45. And then, well, we don't have Greece, so we don't get our infantry bonus. And now we have stage four computers, so we get another 10. So that is 55 to spend next turn. Most glorious. Okay. Oh, and we almost forgot our three cruise missiles, and we only shot four. So that leaves us with four cruise missiles. I don't know how I'm going to even think about shooting all those things next turn. But we'll do our best. Okay. 36-minute turn. We're going to wrap it up here. I will send disposition for my partners and friends. Uh, I hope everyone enjoyed this turn um, and uh, is enjoying this this uh, this game, Operation Fold a Gap. This is Flack88. Thank you all for watching.